Believe it or not, uh, some of you have less than a month before it's time to get the kids ready to head back to school. Sherry Lowe, the Queen of Free, is joining us on this Sunday to talk about some ways, one, to not feel overwhelmed when getting the kids back ready for school and also to save a little money in the process. The first tip you have on here is to take inventory. Explain that for us. Well, you know, we want to do all of these things right now instead of waiting until the exact last moment. So you want to go through that backpack. You want to look through the cabinet where you keep school supplies, find out what you already have. There are so many things that you can use from year to year, things like rulers, scissors, earbuds that don't have to be replaced. So let's drag all of those things out, take a quick 15 minute inventory, and then begin to build your list from there. Tip number two, you say to look for loss leaders. That's not something I've heard of before. I'm sure there's someone out there that's confused too. Explain that for us. Yes, yeah, so stores actually put things on sale to the point that they actually lose money on them. And this time of the year, we see that in the form of 50 cent crayons or glue sticks that are a quarter. So they're trying to entice you into the store. So right now, while you're doing your regular shopping, not a back to school shopping trip, just kind of go quickly through the aisle, pick up only those items that are those loss leader items, those very, very affordable school supplies, and put them into your store of what you're going to kind of stock out from. You're saying to buy double on deals, which may not sound like a money saving tip, but it actually is, right? Definitely, because some of these things will be priced back up three to four times their um, amount right now later in the school year and folders are going to tear. We're going to lose crayons and pencils. We're going to need new notebooks. So buy them now, buy double, put them back so that when you need to replace them mid-year, you're not making another trip to the store and you're not spending more than you should be. One of the last tips we have time for, make a list that everyone can see. What's the reason for that? Well, especially if you have older kids. So I have an eighth grader and a college student. And so we use the app Cozy to be able to track what they need. That helps me have eyes on their things that they need, that they know about, as well as um, my husband and them when they're in the store. So everybody kind of knows what's going on. So Cozy is a great one. You could use a Google Doc and share that doc out to everybody, or you could use the Notes app on your phone if you have an iPhone product too. Just something that everybody has access to when they're in the store. You've got a couple more tips on this list and some other money-saving tips for us. Where can we reach you? Head out to queenoffree.net. We're going to be talking back to school for the next few weeks as we begin that kind of push toward August. And if you'd like to see these again, we'll post them at WTHR.com. Thank you, Sherry. Always a pleasure. Thanks. We'll be right back.